Oh, hello there. So today I'm going to show you how to use Zoom Meeting by Red7 plugin. So in this plugin, you'll be able to access some of the important functionalities of the Zoom Meeting, uh, where uh, you can create a meeting, update a meeting, get all the meetings from the account via APIs. So before explaining the features, I'll show you how to use the API. So in order to use the API, you need an access token. And to get an access token, you need click credentials such as client ID and secret and all. So in order to get those credentials, you have to create a OAuth app in Zoom account. So first we'll go to this website called marketplace.zoom.us where you have to log into your account. Then after logging in, here you can see there is develop drop down. Click on build app. Now you just have to select OAuth here and click on create. Now name your app as any name. I like I'll write test then choose the app type and there is one checkbox here which is would you like to publish this app on zoom app marketplace so this is up to you i don't want to do that so i'll click on create now this is the app credentials here you you got this client id and client secret just copy both of them and register your redirect URL. So in order to get uh, authorization or the authentication code. So in order to get the authentication code, you have to give a redirect URL. So if you go, if you authenticate, you will be redirected back to that URL. So basically this URL will be the app URL where your APIs are present. So then this is over allow list. You can ignore these. Then click on continue. Now this is the basic information. You can give this information of the apps. This is not required right now. And these are all the features. This is the secret token. Just copy this as well then you can regenerate as well then this is the scopes you can add scopes here so for the meeting if you want to create if you are creating a meeting just choose the meeting from here and check all the uh, scopes so you and manage all user meetings. This is for listing all the meetings from the account. So you can check that. Then this view all user meetings. You can check that as well. And just go through this and uh, click on all the checkboxes that is required. And then click on done. So it will be shown here. Then click on continue. And now this is the activation part. So right now it's asking for all these details. So after filling all these details, there will be an activate button and just activate the app. So this is the process of creating a app. So next I'll show you how to generate a access token. Thank you.